My main interest is really anything that's related to spatial cognition, perception, orientation, uh, embodiment. Uh, so how we relate to the space, how we perceive it, and how you can simulate that in virtual environment, movies, and so on. So what I'm tr really trying to do is combine uh, the basic research, trying to understand how we orient, how we know where we are in space, how spatial perception works, how the different modalities interact, and then use that knowledge to, to help improve human-computer interfaces. So essentially it's like, like playing a trick, it's like a magician's trick. How can we cheat intelligently, get away with that? How can we give you the sensation or illusion that you're moving through space, being in a certain space, being present in that space, and enable you to really do what you normally do. It's just, uh, well, without much cognitive effort, you know where you are, your, your brain kind of automatically updates your representation of where you are while you're wa walking or moving through the space. And I find that fascinating that we have this process and that it's working so, so nicely without me having to constantly pay attention to that. Uh, but then it, it often breaks down in these computer-mediated environments. And that's uh, one of the things where we want to improve this and to really use the, uh, the fundamental research to improve uh, human-computer interaction, virtual reality, movies, uh, all kinds of immersive media. And then by doing that, we get new tools, new uh, possibilities to study the human better. So it's really a cross-facilitation between basic research, fundamental research, and uh, more applied uh, research. I think being a, at SEAT and hopefully also my lab is one of the most exciting places to be if, you, if you're excited, if you're creative, interested in different uh, possibilities. If you want to think out of, outside of the box, that's us. We don't have any box.